Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over our let's pop the balloon or find love. Today we're gonna see what's up with them ladies. We have them all in a row. We all have them lined up and waiting for the guys. So without further ado, let's get going. But before we get into that, guys, remember, hit on the subscribe, hit on the like, and remember also to make your comments known in the comment section so you can be part of the family and we can have a discussion around this. So let's go. Yes, you guys sound ready. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name's Brian. Brian, how old are you? 33. And what do you do? I'm an operations supervisor for a major corporation. Also, I act and model as well. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, for fun, uh, basketball, I like to exercise, uh, travel, um, and uh, I'm kind of a foodie. Okay. I like different uh, food places as well, fine dining. Okay, nice. Okay. Now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, kind, uh, usually polite, um, just a good human, accountable. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Um... Again, if you don't have that accountability, that's definitely a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. Also, too, um, it's really important to be uh, aggressive in whatever business that you're doing, whatever your field of endeavor is as far as uh, what you choose to pursue. Okay. And then keeping control over your anger also is a big thing for me. Okay. I think he made a good impression of himself on this one. I think, I think he was articulate. I think he was clear with what his expectations what is deal breakers? And I think he made a good contribution to the question she asked about himself. I think from here, a lot of the ladies should have a general idea of what this man stands for. But let's see how they respond. I mean, just about half have responded already. But let's see why they popped. Let's go. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, if we could start right here, if we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Daya. You could call me D. I'm 27. I accidentally popped. Oh, yeah. okay. sorry. <laughs> All right, can we get another balloon for her, please? Uh oh, sorry, ladies. Just toss it over here for her. Okay, thank you. We'll be back then, and we got some down here. Let's so she accidentally popped somehow i just don't believe fully what's being said here i call cap but let's see if we'll get back to that and how this one will play out let's go this way if i can have your name and age yeah i'm casey i go by k um i'm 27 and um, k what do you do i'm a medical assistant yeah. Nice. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was just a physical attraction thing. You're dressed very nice, by the way, but just a physical attraction. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Is there something specific? Um, probably I like my men a little bit taller. Um, other than that, I don't I mean I don't want to get too. <laughs> but yeah, just just physical attraction thing yeah. for sure. Okay. Uh, now is she someone that's your type? Um. Yeah. Yeah. She's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And let's go to our next pop balloon here. Let's start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm 24. And Christina, what do you do? I'm a fashion designer and a patient support rep. All right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped because of the fit. Like, you seem like a great man, a great person. I loved your, just everything you said. But yeah, that was it. Okay. What's wrong with the fit? Um, I say like the shoes, I don't like the shoes, and the shirt, I don't like, yeah. So this is an example of stretching, reaching for an excuse to explain why she popped. In reality, she has zero idea why she popped. And 
The thing is, when you continue to consume this kind of content, you realize that a lot of women, honestly, cannot elaborate, cannot articulate, pardon me, why they do not like a man. 99.9% of the times, it goes back to the cliche, he is not my type. And this is one of the things that I appreciate with Arlette. She kind of forces the participants to go a bit beyond the surface level. However, when asked to go beyond surface level, they struggle to find the real reason why they pop. The real reason why some of them pop is because one person popped. And remember, women have a hive mentality. They will do what the other does. And I can guarantee that this will play out and show further along in um in the debate, in the conversation, and in this episode. But let's go. She had no reason why she popped. Let's go. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh not not really, no. Okay. Why not? No. Um just not a physical attraction there. Thank you. And then we did get one back. Oh, okay. We got one right here. If we can start off with your name and age. That pop was for the sisterhood. That pop was showing support for the young lady that the man decided that he wasn't attracted to. Give a woman some power and watch it get to her head. That's what it shows. My name is Tiffany and I'm 26 years old. And Tiffany, what do you do? I'm an exotic dancer, but I use my exotic dancer funds to invest in my business ventures. I have a podcast. Um, I said Everything you see after I'm an exotic dancer is moot. Makes no sense. You were an exotic dancer, full stop. This cap about what you do with your money. So if I sell drugs, however... I use my money to run a drug rehabilitation center that makes it right. Right? I guess so. But let's go. Oh, rolling trays and, you know, custom rolling tray sets. And I also sell lashes. Okay, cool. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? He's handsome. It's just like, he's not giving like, you know, the vibe is not giving like, I could just melt in his arms, like be protected. He's not giving me like the masculine, you know, what I'm looking for. Okay. And to be honest, to go back to what I said before with people not able to explain why they do stuff, she, her explanation, to be honest, I accept because at least it's not surface level. And if she's not seeing that masculine energy from him, that's fine. She was able to say, for example, she doesn't see herself melting in his arms at this point. This is why we say, guys, first impressions are extremely important. So when you go out there, put your best foot out every time. Every time. Cologne on top. The shoes on top. The pants on top. The grooming on top. Ensure that you have everything in place and everything in tip-top shape when you go out. First impressions are important. Okay. That. Yeah. <laughs> but so you're handsome. Come in your chest. Yeah, you're handsome, though. <laughs> All right. Now, is Tiffany someone that's your type? Um, yeah, I like her. It's Thank nice. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And we got one right here. Let's start with your name and age. Renee, I'm 25. And Renee, what do you do? I, I work in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? So I think you're very handsome and well-spoken, but you're just kind of short for me, but you're very handsome. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, is uh, Renee someone that's your type? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nice looking young lady. Thank you. <laughs> and then we got another one up here. If we can have your name and age. 
My name is Kamina and I'm um, 27 years old. Okay. And Kamina, what do you do? I am a real estate assistant. Okay. Um, it's also the height for me. Oh, okay. You end up popping the height. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but you are very handsome and I like your style. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. There we have identified one of the followers in this group. And generally, the one who follows always tries to do a bit more, to pretend as if they are not following. She is no more than 5253, and I can guarantee that this guy is possibly 6162, and yet he's too short. You're too short for me. This reminds me of a video I did earlier where a height was an issue as well. But let's see how this one goes. Okay. And your eyes too, I just noticed. <laughs> you got a whole list. <laughs> I just said, I just... <laughs> okay, and how tall are you? Because he looks like he's towering over you. I'm six feet it's tall. It's because I have, um, oh, you're, well, yeah. <laughs> right. And that's how stupid you look. And this is how, this is why, gentlemen, you never really listen to what a woman says. They will do the stupidest things and we will pat them on the back and say, you, girl, you go girl, because someone is trying to get in their pants. If a man was this delusional, he would be possibly canceled. And here we have a stupid ratchet woman she is not even to identify the height of someone. And she in heels is possibly 5152. And this is what it goes back to when I said, when asked to elaborate and articulate specifically why a balloon was popped, that's where the problem starts. Let go. Right, so how tall are you? He said he's six feet. I would. Uh, maybe because I have heels on, maybe I feel a little taller, but yeah. I will say no more. Okay. <laughs> so now she's someone that's your type. Uh, definitely, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's head on back. And we got another pop over here. Let's get your name and age. Um, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old. Tara, what do you do? Uh, I work for state government um, as an application developer. Okay, nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was literally just the age. Yeah, you're very handsome. Um, but yeah, I thought about it for a little minute and then I was like, yeah. So okay. just the age. Okay. So you wanted him to be a little bit younger or? Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now is Tara someone that's your type? Um, no, not really. Okay, but not? beautiful young lady, though. Um, I just, I just, they didn't love the dress. That's all. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right. So we still do have four balloons left unpopped. So to help you narrow it down, see who, which one of these four ladies is more of your match. I'm gonna have you go ahead and ask them a question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay. Let's start here first with your name and age. Hi, I'm Ish, and I'm 28 years old. And Ish, what do you do? I am an artist and I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay, nice. And if you want to just answer this question, where do you see yourself in five years? And uh, we got a pop for that. So he is not even allowed to ask a question at this point. But let's go. In five years, I see myself married and put away. I also see myself on my first child and probably working on my second and well into my career. Good, good. Let's go to yeah. the next one. We'll be back for our pop balloon. Let's go over here. Let's start with your name and age. I'm Carrington. Um, I'm 26. And Carrington, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur full time. And if you want to go ahead and just answer this question, where do you see yourself in five years? A full time entrepreneur. Let me pronounce it properly. A full time entrepreneur, gentlemen. Stay away from these women like the plague why because 
as is true to human nature, as is true to female nature, she will think of herself three to four to five to tenfold what she really is. She will think more of herself than she, than she has proven in the past or is presently proving. So, a full-time entrepreneur is a struggling bimbo who wants, who possibly sells lashes and hair and wants to in, impress upon you that she is a boss chick who signs checks and has employees and a company that she is a CEO of. That's basically what they want to impress on you when they say, I am an entrepreneur. Let's go. Um, I plan on changing my profession. I want to be in real estate and relocated, uh, hopefully married in five years. Got one more lady down here. Let's start with your name, Paige. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kia, 29 years old. And Kia, what do you do? I'm a healthcare consultant. And where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself continuing in my career, utilizing my master's degree, a homeowner, and a serious relationship, preferably married, um, and continuing traveling, spending time with my family, building a life with my partner. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sometimes, guys, you have to listen and actually listen. There are so many things that she outlined right there that would take away from her being a wife and a mother, traveling overseas, spending time with friends, doing all of this business stuff, doing all of this traveling, basically living her best life while you are there basically as a trophy the ring is there as a trophy for her to show her friends, when in reality, there is no place for you in her busy lifestyle. No place for you. It's an afterthought, having a man, having a family, and having a relationship. That's an afterthought. So don't get caught up in her eloquence and her pretending to actually know what she wants. This is what we call mouth breathing rubbish. But let's go. Makes sense. Okay. Thank you. And why did we end up hopping, Carrington? Just attraction. Uh, you're super handsome, but when you know, you know, and I didn't feel it. So. Respect, respect. All right, now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, definitely. 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 And then she ended up hopping. Understand this, guys. If you don't have never been told this before understand no woman wants a man that no other woman wants if you realize the sequence of popping just now and the facial demeanor and the body language of the ladies in the lineup you would understand why we had those ballroom pops maybe one person popped and the drones followed. The drones followed. No woman wants a man that no other woman wants. Let's go. But over here, why did we end up popping? Yeah, I just didn't feel an initial chemistry. Um, I definitely wanted us to have eye to eye before I did pop. I do want to speak some life into you, though. I love short kings. You're not short, though. But I like at least five seven, you know. Um, and you're beautiful. I love your smile. Thank I don't you. know if you get your eyebrows waxed. Men typically have amazing eyebrows without having to do anything. Great white teeth. You look amazing. I just didn't feel a connection. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Respect that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, definitely. Yeah. And the glitter's beautiful. I like oh, that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we did get a pop back here. Why do we end up popping? I just feel like I'm not used to men getting their eyebrows done. There you go. Another follower 
Remember, he was here for the past few minutes and nobody realized that his eyebrows were done until one lady says, oh, by the way, your eyebrows are done. Then suddenly, everybody pops because his eyebrows are done. No woman wants a man that no other woman wants. Pookie and Ray Ray keep having a field day. It's kind of like different for me, so I'm not into that. Okay, got it. Sorry. But you're good looking. I love your eyes. Thank you. Is she someone that's your type? Definitely, yeah. Thank you. And then we ended up getting our lady popped over here too. What happened? Um, well, my first strike was the, the height thing. Like, not because you're the height that you are, but you said you were six feet and you're not six feet. And now I don't, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I don't think you're six feet. Like, I'm almost eye to eye with you and I'm not that tall. Um, but go ahead, go ahead. I mean, I recently got measured at the DMV and. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I'm wrong, my eyes are deceiving me, but that, um, the eyebrow thing, and then like, I just think I wanted to know a little bit more about you and I, I wasn't getting that. So that's respect it. it. Respect him. Yeah. Okay. And that, it once again, guys is another example of struggling to find an excuse for why I popped, knowing that I popped for one reason only, the other ladies popped, so she has to pop. That's basically it, if she were to talk the truth. She popped because the other ladies were popping off it's just, it just had to be done. But then she had to find an excuse and even try to attack the young man to say, you don't know your height. How stupid are you? Get better, woman. Get better. All right, Mr. Six Feet, is she someone that's your type? Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Right. Thank you. And you are handsome. You are handsome. Just, Thank you. Yeah, just... So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, unfortunately, that's all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, thank guys. You, thank you. Have a good one. So, gentlemen, in my overview of this particular interaction, what you should learn from this is two things. One, women will jump through hoops to explain why they don't like you when there is no clear evidence when you have presented yourself as an articulate humble hard-working successful gentleman who comes along also well-dressed well-groomed and relatively handsome they will find any excuse to get you out of the way for no reason than you are just not perfect. You have to be perfect and nothing else is good enough. That's where we are. Thank you so much for joining me this time, guys. Please remember to go ahead and like, comment, and if you feel, if you feel the energy, go ahead and subscribe. Everyday Madness. Massaging it daily, every day. Yes, so thank you so much for joining once again. I'm your host, Mr. Misogynist. And we're doing it like that. Let's go.